morning. Dad's starting the day off with some tree trimming. In the 306 out doing a little greasing on it, I think. Just tighten up these fittings, make sure everything's good to go, blowing it out. That's one way to clean out the cab. Huh? One way to clean out the cab. Put the door shut. Yeah. So while dad is tree trimming, BJ is hauling some corn, and then Brad and I am going to go do some tillage. So it is dry enough that we can do some VTing, so that's what I'm gonna go do. We have a pretty high chance of rain tonight, so probably just be today. Seems how spring goes, it dries out. Enough to do something, then immediately rains again, but hey, we'll get something done at least. Might go do that field right there, actually, while it's, while it's dry. That field usually is kind of wet. Hey, everybody. Gonna trim some trees today. Got the little uh, 306 over here and, and the rut mulcher on it. That's pretty good. Uh, so, uh, should have had this done, but just now getting to it. So, uh, I'm gonna try to get it done here before we get real busy. So I gotta figure out where to put this camera. Ain't we're in a good place. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. We'll figure something out. So holding it. Ain't gonna hold it for sure. Then we get that loaded here, we'll see what we can do. That beeper drive you nuts, you can shut it off. You gotta do it every time you go forward and backwards, shut it off. Unless you move real quick. This fence row down around the top of the hill, then we got another one up there. We're gonna go through it around it, and if we get to it, maybe down the bottom, it's like get some of that done. But I don't know, we'll get her done today. We'll see. Okay, we got a place to put the camera, so uh, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, we're ready to roll. Now back to back to accelerating. So I need to probably put a little bit of fuel in this thing. Other than that, it should be good to go. Uh, definitely need fuel and we need the juice. We need the juice. Got government juice. And we got fuel. mentioned a few videos back that this thing was broke down. The main thing that we are waiting on is all tied to the air system. So this has Vario grip. Basically with this tractor we can adjust the air pressure from the cab in the tires once we get to the field. So there's the lines. Something about that Vario grip system makes the hub puller different and we're waiting on the hub puller to get shipped here or something along those lines. I think I'm telling you that right. If this machine's not fixed by planting season, basically we will just not use the Vario grip system. It'll be put back together and we'll be good to go, but try to get everything fixed, right? They sent us a, a, a replacement tractor for now. Everything's peachy, but worst case scenario, that one will just get reassembled and hooked to that John Deere corn planter there, and we'll be ready to roll. I've been known to do this before. Might or might not have combined once with no fuel cap for a whole day. Many, many, many moons ago. Definitely wouldn't do that as an adult. A little bumpy. Only well, around 15 and we're bouncing. So this is wheat stubble. Wheat stubble holds in a lot of moisture and these fields are a little bumpy from uh, some issues we had. Oh man, that was clear back in 2000, uh, fall 2021. 21, yeah. So I'm gonna run this over it. Uh, it'll help keep this field drying out a little bit and it'll help maybe smooth up this field a little bit. That's the plan. 
So we're going to run this uh, ex accelerator uh, across these acres here. We got a 20 acre field here, we got a 40 acre field just like it right beside it, and then we'll be back in the corn stalks. So notice that we were not really killing really even, and then discovered that I had forgot to put my cover on and we lost our pins adjusting our angle. Uh, all three of us are present for that operation. So, so right now we are uh, going out hunt, pin hunting. Yeah, we've got a couple of lock bolts on here. That should hold it for now. Lock bolts with lock nuts, that's what I meant. Let's see if we are back in business. Just checked it and it's doing much better. I can't believe I forgot to latch those pins, but at least we caught it before we messed any fields up. Did shallow it up a little bit where this isn't corn stalks, this is just uh, fought or uh, bean stubble and wheat stubble. It's uh, going in the ground a little deeper than I'd like, so shallowed up a little bit. Now we're gonna chop up this residue. So that ground getting more sun, uh, it will warm up a little faster. Uh, in my opinion, that will help this ground dry out on top. Won't do much for the bottom, but might help it dry out on top a little bit faster. This is the home farm, that's my house right there. But this field's been systematically tiled about six years ago. And every now and then we still have some tile blowouts of old tile lines that were in here. All these fields here on our home farm were at one time tiled out with old clay tiles when dad was just a boy. But a lot of those have failed. But every now and then when we put new tile in, we will find one that hasn't failed. There's really no way to fix it other than dump some big stone in there. Um, you can't really tie into the clay tiles. Maybe someone has, we're not. Um, you just you put your new tile in and go on about your business and fill in your holes with big, big, big gravel basically as they appear. A couple holes still in this field, but we've we filled in quite a few. First field is just about done, working up beautifully. So BJ will come in here and strip till this, hopefully. But if he does not, uh, working this up with the accelerator does just kind of help the planter maintain a better ride maybe help it plant a little bit better. For whatever reason, our John Deere has really been struggling in no-till condition since we put the Ag Leader system on that corn planter. Um, so this just helps it, uh, in my opinion, run a little bit better. Hey there, we got dust. Hot dog. All right, I gotta pee. But while we're doing that, or after we do that, we can check to see how our settings are looking on the machine. And we can get out here and move a GoPro, really. That's the main reason we're stopping. Chopping up real nice. Real nice. So this field also has ag lime that has been applied, so we do like to try to incorporate that. Another reason why we're running the strip till bar on this piece of dirt here. Yeah, just kind of help incorporate that, get our pH in check. That way, our crops can utilize the fertilizer that we're gonna be applying with that strip till bar. With a bad pH, we can't do that. This just helps it get in the dirt a little bit faster, make sure it doesn't run off. Good deal here. This used to be a forest, not really a forest, like five or six, eh, maybe 10 acres here. Used to be trees and scrub brush. We cleaned this up and turned it into a farm field probably around 2010-ish. But it's still bumpy, and we still have more weed pressure where those woods were than we do on the rest of the field, oddly enough. You can kind of see it a little bit back there. That's where the trees were. But even with the bumps and even with the weeds, we're getting way more out of those acres now than we were when they were just you know, scrub brush. Beaver issues there. Yep, they are a destructive little animal. Very cool little animals. It's really neat what they do, but man, they can destroy a stream and the area around it.
These could be my new fave. Jalapeno and cranberry, that is delicious. Not too spicy. I don't really like cranberries, I don't really like jalapenos, but it's a good combo. So those are Wag Bites, made by the same people that make Wag Bars. There's a link in the description, check them things out. They are, I really like the Wag Bites. Those are, that, that's probably my favorite flavor. That, that is delicious. Hopefully I got a few more bags of those. We are done with the stubble fields. Now we're gonna head up this little gravel road over to uh, Cornstalk field. We got about 35 acres of cornstalks we're going to do tonight over here and then we'll move to the next farm. So with corn stalks, one of the things you're relying on to help cut those things is speed. So we will be running a little bit faster here. Uh, well right now I'm actually struggling to get much above nine miles an hour. So vertical tillage does pull kind of hard, especially if you're running full angle like we are right now. Now if I were to shallow up and straighten up the gang angle, uh, we would probably pick up some speed. But uh, as early as it is, I want to run at a little bit of an aggressive angle. Also, uh, we have an issue with slugs. So if you don't know what a slug is, it's a, little, it's a little slug and it will eat beans. Tillage is one of the ways to combat those. So we are hoping to uh, warm this ground up to get rid of the slugs. Is that a wet spot? Yeah, a little wet. Another one bites the dust. So that puts us at about 120 acres so far. We are going to go right below our office. There's a 35 acre field that's pretty dry right now. It's not usually dry. So we're gonna do it now. So one thing I really like about the layout of this fence and ours too, I like that you can put all the data that's over here, I can move it here. Like I can get that screen there or that screen there. I, I like that. And then I can also have another screen with the same data up here. Ours doesn't have this monitor, but especially using their guidance, we use an ag leader, but if I was using the factory guidance, having that third monitor is, is pretty handy. I like that quite a bit. Really like this layout. Really starting to get the hang of this handle. Yeah, overall pretty well thought out tractor. I am going to grab me something to drink. I'm thirsty. Pretty handy being right beside the office. <sighs> I'm joking. might do uh, I don't know we'll see they might be too wet they're really wet all right we're done that's gonna be it for today at least on this thing all in all not a bad start we got some acres that are always a pain in the butt for me to get done so that feels good but usually for whatever reason i always do the ground that's sandy and drier first while this ground would be perfectly fit to run i don't know why that's just how i've always done it had an epiphany or had a had a good idea i guess and now we got this done so that's good i had to take this thing back to the shed put it up it is supposed to pour rain tonight we have some things that we need to do to this machine. Uh, it needs greased, hasn't been greased since uh, the beginning of the season. And well, we're probably a third to 50% done with tillage now. Uh, you guys haven't seen it all. BJ done some tillage while I was gone. We did some tillage over the winter. And then we've had a couple decent days of tillage this spring. So yeah, we're probably about a third at least uh, done. So we need to grease this thing. We need to get the strip till bar ready. We need to get the fertilizer spreader ready. We've got to work on the corn planter. Plenty to do. Oh, temperature dropped. Getting cold already. Well, folks, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you would, do us a favor and thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out the links in the description, and we'll see you in the next one.